Enclave Development has been around for about five years. It started out as um, just two guys building one uh, apartment building a year. This building is comprised of one-story parking garage uh, at grade and then three levels of living space above it. Uh, there's a total of 75 apartment units. It's a mix of three bedrooms, two bedrooms, one bedrooms and efficiencies. One of our biggest drawbacks that we have for the territory we're in is our design conditions. You know, we can see conditions as low as 30 below zero in the winter time, and summertime it could well get over 100 degrees up here. So we're dealing with both extremes when we're looking at trying to design HVAC equipment for certain applications. This whole project was originally designed around geothermal. The initial cost on the geo was so high and with natural gas prices coming down, it became apparent to the developer that uh, that wasn't gonna happen to the whole area. We put out a budget number on City Multi actually for this project also. Again, it wasn't fitting into what they would want per square foot or per apartment. Traditionally, a lot of our other buildings are boiler and um, fin tube, uh, baseboard heat, and wall ACs. You know, kind of the biggest negative with doing central air was the, uh, the number of um, condensing units sitting outside the building, which is not a nice thing to look at outside the property when you have a 75 unit property, you know, you, you have 75 units either scattered around the outside of the property or 75 penetrations through the roof. So we started looking at, hey, let's maybe look at doing a one-to-one. -one. The garage was going to be here already, um, an underground parking. Let's put these things inside. Let's uh, condition the garage below like the air source heat pump would be sitting outside. And that way we can just transfer the heat from the garage up to the apartments and we'd supplement that garage heat with uh, natural gas unit heaters. I guess my concern was how do we sell this to the tenant? What's the tenant actually gonna pay for versus what we're gonna pay for? Rick really, you know, made it very easy to understand, like, you know, hey, we're, you know, we're providing natural gas heat. The natural gas heat will bring the heat to the units, and then the, the you know, the electric to transfer the heat up to the units is basically what the tenant would pay for. When we have a vehicle drive into a structure like this, you have an engine block that is superheated at that point. So it's amazing how much heat will be generated from a car park underneath these Mitsubishi units. And now we have a Mitsubishi unit grabbing that heat, absorbing it, and transferring it upstairs into the apartment spaces. Using the Mitsubishi heat pump system versus a conventional wall AC or PTAC system, um, we're able to eliminate 85 wall penetrations, which causes you know, air infiltration issues and weather issues. We were able to house uh, many of the units um, in the garage without taking up any square footage, so we didn't lose any parking spaces or anything like that. In the units themselves, we were able to hide the units in a false ceiling so they're still accessible, and we didn't lose any square footage or rentable square footage in the units, so we were able to maximize our space. You know, I was very impressed with the units. They, of all the different brands I've put in over the years, it's by far the, the one I'd prefer to work with. It's as quiet a unit as you'll ever find. This product allows the tenant to really pay the same amount of electricity to transfer um, the heat from the basement to the upstairs, but we're paying for the natural gas heat to provide it to the heat pumps. So it's been a really um, positive approach and I feel like we're beating our competition in the market because of our ability to say that, you know, the heat essentially being paid. Overall, it solved a lot of design headaches for us. We're already under construction on the second building like this um, right next door, and there's another five planned for this site um, using the same Mitsubishi system. It's far exceeded our expectations of what we thought it would do. This building actually is outperforming every property we own from a cost per unit. When the owner of the building comes to us and says there's over 50% savings on cost per apartment to, to heat, it's a aha moment there. Satisfaction is 100%. Wouldn't do anything else. <laughs>